What's up everybody? We're out here and it's day two out here in Creed and we decided to do something different this year. So usually we ride every day that we're out here, like ride four wheelers to some trail somewhere. And this year we just decided to take a day in between our rides to where we're uh, getting a little bit of rest. Cause we did a long ride yesterday. I think it was like 10 hours that we were gone from start to finish. Of course we weren't riding the whole time. We stopped for food, snacks, drinks, whatever. But um, yeah, it was a long day. So we decided to take this day to just kind of drive around and uh, Nathan Hun and I are just kind of exploring, taking photos, getting some drone footage. So we're here right now at Commodore Mine up on the Bachelor City Loop. And uh, like I said, just taking some some cool photos, some cool video. Um, I got some drone footage here in 2019, but even back then I was like not as confident about my drone piloting <laughs> abilities. So uh, now that I have the new drone that's like got better quality, better resolution, um, I decided to bring it out here and try it out at this spot. So this is the Commodore Mine, Commodore Mines. I think it's plural because there are a few different mines here under the same flag as it were. But uh, yeah, I just flew the drone all the way to the top up there to that farthest structure that you can see. And uh, I got a photo from an angle that I don't know if anyone's ever gotten one from. At least I've never seen one. So could be pretty cool. I guess we'll find out. I might try to sell it to some one of the businesses here in Creed to display. So we're getting ready to move on because we got plenty of photos and videos here. So just kind of going to hang out with us throughout the day. We're going to explore the Creed area, things that you can get to in just a truck, things that you don't need four wheelers. So getting ready to continue on and see what we can see. clouds rolling in but that's just better for us for lighting for our photos and videos so hopefully it doesn't uh, start a downpour or anything like that but anyway I'm gonna head up the hill a little bit and there's uh, gonna be some cool like old cabins and stuff so see you up there leveled out here there's a kind of a flat area before it goes back starts to ascend some more so we 
stopped to check out some of these old uh, cabins and barns and whatnot. So this one, it's got some problems, but it looks like there's lots of deer and elk dropping. So they, I guess they walk through here from time to time, maybe just trying to get out of the storm or whatever. But I want to show you this building next to it. So this thing has definitely seen better days. This is the one that I was just in. But this one's super cool. Let's go in here. I'll recommend to anybody if you ever come out here and you want to explore a lot of these old cabins, just don't don't lean on anything, don't push anything. Because you can still go in here and this looks like a spot that some kind of animal could hide out in. But, you know, sometimes it's amazing that these things are still standing, but just, uh, I'll check this out. So there's a, I'm gonna raise this up through the boards here. There's a hole right there where probably the chimney or the little pot-bellied stove had the pipe going through to the roof. But look at the how the moss is like growing on these boards. Pretty cool. I love all these old abandoned buildings. I've actually never been in this one before, so I'm trying to do a lot of things this trip that I tend to either skip or, you know, just haven't paid much attention to in the past. So there she is from the outside. And I just almost tripped over a rock there. But it's definitely seen better days. Still cool though. All right, we made it up here to Midwest Mine and it just started raining. So uh, we're just kind of under the, under the roof of this shed right now shack whatever you want to call it so let me show you something that i just can't believe this happened hold on a second so this right here used to be one of the coolest looking deals these rails went into the mountain and it still had the mine entrance there and they came through here and caved it in and completely ruined the look of it because it had you know the wood posts that went around the edges so the entrance and the rails just ran right into the building i mean it was even intact last year when we were up here so i don't know what the heck what the heck's going on why they did that i don't think it would have caved in on, by itself and then there's a sign there now that says keep out so so i've showed this part in videos before but just in case you hadn't seen any of my other videos so see all these cardboard boxes these used to contain core samples and let me look i found a piece i'll show you what it looks like give me a second so they were doing core drilling and this is obviously a busted piece but they're pretty perfectly round to match the drill bit and they're usually like two feet long something like that but over the years, people have come in here and picked up almost all of them. I bet if you dug through here enough, you could find one. But, uh, yeah, mostly it's just cardboard boxes and rat poop. Yeah, I was telling the guys yesterday, because we were stuck in the rain for a long time over on Engineer Pass. I think it was in 2008, we had a group come out here on a guy's trip. And... We sat right here in this very spot for two hours waiting for the downpour to stop so that we could t continue up to Deer Hunter's Cabin or Phoenix Park if you're looking at it on the map. But yeah, I'm still just beside myself that they caved in that mine entrance. It was cool to like go up there and you could feel all the really cold air coming out of it and this is a rail cart tracks 
Anyway, it's just sprinkling now, not a lot of actual rain, but here you've got a nice uh, porta potty or stationary potty, outhouse, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, Nathan Hun and I have been, we've got two Nathans on this trip, so we have to distinguish that we're going around, exploring, taking photos, videos, all that good stuff. Hearing some thunder off to the west. Last time we were here, these this was wide open. I don't really want to open it because so I'm not that guy. But there's boxes for more core samples. I'm pretty sure that's all that's behind these doors is more core samples. So anyway. This is Midwest Mine. Get ready to continue on up the trail. We stopped here at Park Regent Mine, and it looks like it's just a big hole in the ground with all the timber. Also, it had stopped raining the whole time we were in the truck, and now that we just got out, it started raining again. 